there's a lot of killer shark movies. Shark Week has become a phenomenon and hell, crocodiles, snakes, tarantulas, killer monsters, ants, even more have their share of horror films. But there aren't too many killer bear flicks, especially if you go back more than 20 years. There's really just this and The Prophecy, which I might review one of these days. Grizzly would come out in 76 and star Christopher George, a man with two first names who started dozens of other B-movies. Also starring Joanne McCall, who herself has seen the Beast out of fiction before. Even the sidekicks have come from the likes of Green Slime, The Town that Dreaded Sundown, The Evil, V, Latitude Zero, and a bunch more flicks that I had to throw in my watch list. The film follows Sergeant R. Kelly over here, a park ranger in Georgia with a 15-foot, 2-ton grizzly bear in the loot. People end up dead one after another with some decent kills. A chick gets sneak attacked by the bear somehow, and the waterfall slowly turns red in probably the second best part of this film, the best being the end. The ranger and a few of his friends are trying to track down the bear while his higher up is on his ass because he's using this as an opportunity to get himself a desk at Washington. The grizzly drops people one after another, campers, hunters, even little Bobby caught up in the smoke. This movie doesn't shy away, except for, you know, when the budget makes them. But the bear suit isn't bad, and most of what we see is actually a bear named Teddy. Teddy, uh, funny enough, wouldn't roar for them, so they had to bribe him with marshmallows every time they needed a shot for him to open up his mouth, which is kind of the funniest thing to me. In the film, they state the bear is at least 15 feet, Teddy was only 11, and the poster says 18. So, what is it, movie? Speaking of the poster, though, it was drawn by legendary comic artist and my personal favorite of the era, the late, great Neil Adams. And the novelization of the film was also done by a fellow Jerseyan. But he used a pseudonym, so maybe he's not the biggest horror fan. When the film was released, it was murdered with Jaws comparisons. And it's pointed out that POV bear shots definitely could have been better. But overall, the not bad cinematography. There's one or two shots I really appreciate in the film. And the opening, although feels like a National Geographic special, was gorgeous and definitely spot I'd love the hike. As an independent film, I think it stands out, but it even does the thing I like at the end, and they kill off their main protagonist. <laughs> Which leads to probably the best part of the movie where his buddy picks up a rocket launcher and fires a rocket into the bear. I, I, I it had me laughing my ass off. I mean, definitely the highlight of the film. It's for sure a solid entry in the killer animal genre, and I'm hunting for the Laserdisc now, which apparently only came out in Japan for some reason. I've never seen it, but I'm intrigued. The infamous sequel, however, was filmed in the early 80s and even had a special appearance from the likes of George Clooney and the full original cast. Being filmed in Hungary, it was shopped around to several film festivals but remained unreleased all the way until 2020. Prior to this, only bootlegs with inconsistent scenes circulated the market on DVD and VHS. And now an official DVD and Blu-ray has been released, and as of last year, it's made its way onto the digital market. Grizzly 2 fascinates me, it's definitely one for the list in future reviews. But until then...